Hi everyone, my name is Kanya and today we're going to be making three cheese and onion pop tarts. So the first thing we've got to do is caramelize the onions along with my four cloves of roughly chopped garlic. Then I'm going to get a little bit of rosemary and thyme, throw them herbs in. So we're just going to get some color on these onions, get them to soften up and go translucent. Once they do that, we're going to add some sugar in here and then we're going to get it to caramelize in a really glorious way. So now for the next step. What I'm going to do is I've got a bowl here. I've got my three cheeses and I'm going to chuck 200 grams of each cheese into the bowl. We're going to get our smooth cottage cheese in here. I'm going to spoon that over in there. And then lastly, our caramelized onions, which are gonna kind of be the big, big flavor moment in these Pop-Tarts. I'm gonna mix all of this together. As you'll notice, the cheese is gonna start melting a bit. Flour your surface, just like this. And this is where your pastry comes in. So you're gonna grab one roll of puff pastry, get this onto our floured surface so that we can start cutting little squares. Flour the other side nicely. Grab a knife and then you kind of get to decide how big you want these Pop-Tarts. Today, I think I want to make a biggish batch, so I'm going to make them a bit smaller. It needs to be an even number of squares or rectangles, whatever, so that every bottom can have a top. So I'm just going to go down the center. We've got this beautiful, creamy, cheesy, oniony mix. And you wanna just spoon a good amount right in the center and repeat the process until you've got spoonfuls of mixture on half your puff pastry squares. We're gonna just, you know, you can either take the pastry brush or just if you wanna be more accurate, you can take your forefinger to paint the edges of your pastry because this is gonna act as kind of an adhesive and using a fork, I'm going to pinch the ends, partially, what is the word again? Functional, yeah, and partially decorative, just to reinforce those edges because the last thing you want is the cheese leaking out of these packages, you know? You wanna just neaten it off. You're gonna get a greased tray. You're gonna place these bad boys on here with enough room apart. We do a little egg wash on top. We're gonna place these in the oven at 200 for 20 minutes. Okay. So now it's time to taste. Wow. This is some good puff pastry. Mm -hmm. Woo! Hot, delicious, delicious hot. This is my fave. Mm. 